All right, first you gotta have Minecraft installed. Next, download the New Frontier Craft installer, which will be in the link of this video or whatever post I make on the New Frontier Craft website. Next, launch Minecraft, or at least the Minecraft launcher, and go to launch options. First, turn on historical versions and advanced settings. We'll add a new profile. We're gonna call it Beta 1.7.3. Now, if you've already been playing Beta 1.7.3, you don't really need to do this step. Then find Beta 1.7.3 in this long list of versions, save it, go back to news, and play the game. Or at least just launch the game. And when I say the game, I mean Beta 1.7.3. Once it's loaded up, we don't need to do anything more. Just close immediately, right out of the Beta 1.7.3 client. Now launch the new FrontierCraft launcher. It should show the version that it has detected, and if it's the wrong version, then don't install. But we're installing because that is the right version. If you're new to new FrontierCraft, then the version it detects is probably the right version. If this install doesn't work for you, there is a manual install video. That works for all computers guaranteed. I'll be skipping ahead because this will take a little while. Now the install is successful, close out of the installer, go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to launch options and make a new profile again. This time we'll be calling it New Frontier Craft. Doesn't really matter what you call it though. As long as we can find the version of New Frontier Craft we just recently installed, which you'll see it there, old beta, New Frontier Craft 1.8.501, we saw that on the installer. And then we can play New Frontier Craft. And there you go. If you have any issues or questions or need some more information on this launcher, there'll be a link in the description to the wiki post for this. Forum post. Whatever post it might be. I hope to see you on that server.